people really want to know that this, in, that this hospital will be independent, it will be independent, All right. that we will own the hospital, okay. we will, Homer that for we shaking will his own head the there. land, we effectively will through that 300 year lease. But it, so the, all the information is in the public domain. Here we have the constitution of the St. Vincent's Healthcare Group, which says very clearly um, St. Vincent's Hospital, founded by Mary Aikenhead, who was the founder of the Sisters of Charity, ran uh, Magdalene laundries, incarcerating thousands of women. And this should be in the continuation of the fulfilment of this mission, etc. This body is the body that will own the land and it seems the buildings. That's no. a National Maternity Hospital. That's, no. that's what l lots no. of lawyers. Secondly, no. not, not only do they have a relationship, and this is, this is the point made by the HSE, uh, people from the HSE board, Deirdre Madden and Sarah McLaughlin, they have a landlord uh, relationship with the National Maternity Hospital. They also have three directors on the board. On the board, that's the ethos that they will be pursuing. All right, OK, um, Sinead. So just can I just make one point? Is that briefly, government, is, government, the the government is under pressure there on this no issue. There is no religious ethos. People power is needed. There is There's a no protest at 2 o'clock at Saturday okay. at the door. Very, very important, important people. All oh, right, no, can, no religious people can read it themselves. It's, it's, it's Hildegard, that's fine, yeah. and I think that point has been made clearly. That's that's the opinion on government on it. Um, Sinead, this is this is a mess now, isn't it? I mean, you've okay, had if, government if, TDs if, contacting you about how to respond to this. Room, is that right? Uh, this is about optics now. Okay, it's not about the legal contracts. I'm sure it is, but that's for better brains than mine. This is about losing the room, and if you do not have people with you, and it is the taxpayers who are the client here. Uh, then you have to look at how that contract is set up. I find it ironic that on the same day that the children's minister had to apologise uh, in the Shannon for all the illegal adoptions that took place in this country under the auspices of, yes, the state and the church. On the same day in 2022, we are dealing with this stuff again. No wonder m women are distrustful. We now have four men telling us everything will be fine. The Taoiseach, the Taunishta, the Minister for Health and now the Deputy Chair of, of one of the boards involved in this this morning on radio. It'll be grand. There's lots of women. Now we There's have lots been of women. Told There's lots that of women, lots of clinicians, Rono Mahoney, lots of women years. saying that there's going to be We have been told that. And then there are other people that are saying we're not quite sure. Uh, and you know the thing about it is, <clears throat> if it is a feeling that people are nervous about this and women are nervous about what's ahead. What is the problem with having a line in the clause because this clinically appropriate thing is getting to everybody, yeah, right? That is an issue. How about I, you That is an say, issue and we're hearing that that is an issue get, tonight with your colleagues in government. And I get the way... I, I want to deal with it. Just in a sec, because I get the way that they are saying that that means, OK, you're not going to do brain surgery in the hospital. I hear that and I get that. We're not... Like, we do get it. But, but what is wrong with putting in a line that says clinically appropriate as defined by the HSE. You don't have to give a li big list of uh, procedures from abortion to, you know, zygote implantation. You have to say as decided by the HSE, not decided by that board of whatever members are placed Look, on it this by is, the Look, This is clearly the sticking fine. point on the know, clinical yeah. appropriateness. And, it's really and we keep hearing, going, line, yeah. it's a maternity hospital, yeah. it's not it's for cardiac line. surgery, yeah. it's not for other things, it's, it's, for, it's for women's health. Yeah. But, it, but it hasn't assuaged concerns. Yeah, no, it's, it's really important and I'm glad you give me the chance to answer it. And I get the concerns and these are questions that I had that I have got answered, that I am now, I, I'm clear that there is absolute independence. Clinically, it's clinically appropriate and legally permissible. So clinically appropriate is that what you said, it's going to be obstetric, gynecological, neonatal, everything that a maternity hospital should do, not, as you say, uh, you know, cardiac or so bra brain surgery. So why can't that be clarified somewhere within, within the constitution on this? Do you that think that can be words. done? What? And do you think that will be required, yeah. in advice, fact, to get this the through advice, with support? Yeah, the advice we got that, that if, if you start putting in a list. No, there, not there will be. That's what I didn't say. There will, there, 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 what, what could happen and what does happen in medicine is there are new procedures all the time that could be added to. And when you As have, decided when, by when the HSE. Have, yeah, because the HSE, the, line. the HSE wanted that in it. Right. Legally permissible means, it's really important as well, that the, the laws of this land that have been passed, I sat on the Committee of the Eighth Amendment, so I have, I share the concerns of the women of Ireland. I'm coming from that perspective. I know uh, the genuine right. concerns there. There's legal protections here in the yeah. Constitution. It is not, there's no religious interference. All right. The nuns have divested all of it's, their shares. There is a constitution. The point, Paul Murphy, the point that Paul was making was, was around um, 
you know, the, the ethical guidelines, the ethical framework of, of Sister Mary Aikenhead um, within the Constitution on this. Paul, very briefly. Yeah, the, all, the all we have from the government, the that, you, you saying, I'm going to clarify the issues around clinically appropriate. That's your word. That's useless it's to people. In, word, in 100 years' time, word. that's also useless. It's, it's the HSC's Because it's not word. contained, it's not it is words. not defined <laughs> it's in not the lease. Word, it's not defined in the lease whatsoever. Same so you can have a dispute between the landlord, which is pursuing the mission of Mary Aikenhead, and who's going to decide upon it. I want to um, come back to Priscilla. Priscilla. You know, sterilizations yes. don't happen no, in, in, in Vincent. They, are not they don't happen. Now, Tube so, ligations so, don't happen. Now, so I have medics have said that. These. That they, they actually do they occur, but, they only but it happen. certainly is contentious. What's, what's contained in the answers that I have, they only we happen where it's dealing with another medical please issue, for example. Listen and we know, we know like that, we know, we, just, just on this, we know the that the National Maternity Hospital's defence of this is they make the decisions. It'll be the hospital, yeah, the, the National Maternity Hospital, that make the decision on this. But nonetheless, will there, be from are, the there are plenty of questions. Priscilla, very briefly, the Minister for Health is before the Oireachtas Committee on Health on this tomorrow, clearly many questions still to be answered and plenty of clarification needed if it's to be approved. That's correct. Really, uh, as Sinead said, he needs to win the room. He needs to convince people that there are enough protections in place and that they can get this going because if we do see a stalling of the project, it will probably be delayed for many years. But obviously we have to do it correctly. So there is an awful lot of pressure uh, going forward. And I can completely understand the concerns of clinicians because in the St. Vincent's Healthcare Group uh, previously, there would have been criticism over clinical trials and religious interference and ethos and whatnot. And we know as a country, we are quite far behind when it comes to certain procedures uh, in Ireland, medical procedures because of religious uh, in interference. But again, a lot of pressure tomorrow. There is a lot of hope, though, on the side of the minister that it will actually go through.